settled down a bit and hopes and hopefully understood that actually um in some senses it wasn't a kind of uh, pre-planned abuse of his letter that it actually it sort of emerged rather oddly um it got by, me wondering, uh, by accident yeah it got me wondering about etiquette and protocol when i was reading the book thinking when these people are when, when you're having cabinet meetings and private meetings nowadays are you all thinking whatever i say could end up in someone's memoirs what is the etiquette it's a uh, it's a very good question it's a very tough question it's one i had to think about quite a lot in writing this book and there were quite a few things that i left out of the book because i felt people had said them and the context was wrong and it would be obscured or frankly they were things that were deeply sensitive that were clearly said uh, flippantly with, with the expectation of privacy. So I removed quite a lot of those things, things that put in some senses have been quite explosive. But there is this wider issue about how long after you're in government should you reveal things. And it used to be the case that people thought it was either never or 30 years. The truth of the matter is that life has moved on. We live in a society where there's a very active media, there's tweeting, uh, there's transparency, there's freedom of information. And frankly, there's a lot of leaking goes on in government. I mean, I once said something in Cabinet and an hour later it had been leaked by the Conservatives to the national media. So I think these days there's a reasonable expectation that actually you can air some of these issues uh, more rapidly than in the past and that openness is a good thing. But you have to make very individual judgments about um, what is polite and impolite behaviour. And people aren't always going to uh, agree with that. But I think in my account, I've tried to uh, be fair. I've tried to be uh, courteous. I've told a lot of indiscreet, nice stories about people, including people in other political parties. It's a big old book, 560 pages. Yes. Your resignation, it's only four and a half pages. You don't apologize in those pages or mention the amount of public money you paid to your partner in rent, which the Standards and Privileges Committee did describe as a serious breach of rules over a considerable time. Why such a short amount? Well, there are two things. I mean, firstly, this book, although I am a pretty ever-present presence in the book, is not designed to be an autobiography. It's designed to be about the coalition government and particularly about the Lib Dem contribution to it and what we got right and wrong. On the issue of my resignation in, um, in 2010, I've always been clear that I made a mistake over that, but I was clear and so was the Parliamentary Commissioner that the motivation wasn't uh, and the effect wasn't to profit from the taxpayer. Indeed, the Commissioner concluded that I didn't do so, that if I'd been honest and open about my personal circumstances and my sexuality, I would have been claiming more money than I actually did. Why I made a mistake was in trying to keep my private life uh, private and the consequences of that. It wasn't an issue of, uh, of trying to benefit from the taxpayer, and that was the very clear conclusion of the Parliament.